Welcome back, all you beautiful thinking people, you to Advocation and your host Clyde. Today, I want to tackle the topic of super liberals. Super liberals, I mean those extra powerful liberals that help guide our future to where they want it to be. So before we get started, please hit that like button, subscribe, become a member, smash that bell, don't miss anything going forward. Okay, let's begin. While I look around our world and see how things are unfolding when it comes to uh, controlling of our health, when it comes to controlling of our speech, when it comes to dealing with protests and convoys and freedom and anti-freedom and anti-protests and all of these other issues, I look deeply for the super liberal. Now, why, you might ask? It's quite simple. The super liberal will tell you how to think. The super liberal will tell you what to say. The super liberal will make sure that nobody around you gets to refute or even challenge what you're saying. I walk with a super liberal right here, always sitting right there on my shoulder. And you know what? Nobody ever talks back to me. Never. When I walk out in the morning and I say, hi there, what a wonderful day. And the other person is holding an umbrella and soaked to the bone. I just look to my super liberal. And he says, oh, that person's fake news. What are they doing carrying an umbrella? They probably took a shower in their clothes just before they left the house. And they go, yeah, see, what a wonderful day. Folks, every time I go to a football game, I bring my super liberal. And I'll tell you what my super liberal does. He looks to the other team and he says, hey, you do realize that team B is going to win this game. And team A says, yep, yep, yep. We realize we totally understand. And the super liberal will say to them, so every time you get the ball, you must pass it to the closest team B player. I know it'll be called some sort of a fumble or whatever, but don't worry about that. You just give it to them. They'll know what to do with it. And what's the response from team A? Yep, yep, you're right. Absolutely, that's what we're going to do. Every play. And Team B wins 1,000 to 0. What an amazing game. One of the most high scoring games of all time. Wow, what a defense, what an offense. Team B, absolute winners going into the future. Where else does my super liberal come into my life and help with everything I want to do? Let me think. Oh, that's easy. Anytime, anytime I'm feeling good and healthy and ready to go out running and doing all that, my super liberal says, you can't do that. And I ask my super liberal, why? Well, because it's dangerous out there. There are toxins and there's radiation and everybody's going to die. Your skin will peel. And I look to the super liberal and I go, how is that possible? We're both outside right now. And the super liberal says, you think you're outside. There's been a projected illusion around this front foyer of your house that makes it look like you're totally exposed. But this is a totally sealed and filtered room. You are totally safe. But we should go back into the other rooms just to make sure. And I say, wow, you must be right. And I go back into the house. Or, sorry, into the other room. Because, of course, we weren't really outside. We were in a mirage. I love my super liberal. No matter what happens in front of our face, that super liberal will definitely tell me the opposite. Every time I go to get into my car, the super liberal says, Wow, I've always wanted a Rolls Royce, and thanks to you, Clyde, I can drive in a Rolls Royce. And I ask the super liberal, But I bought a Ford Fusion Energy. Clyde, 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 what is wrong with you? You're starting to talk like those right-wing idiots. You don't drive a Ford Fusion. It's a Rolls Royce. 
You're just not looking at it the right way. I go, okay, let's get in the Rolls Royce and go for a ride. See, Clyde, look at how quiet it is. I go, I'm running on electric right now. It's usually pretty quiet. Oh, come on. Jesus, you and your fake news. You're not riding on electric. It's a Rolls Royce with an absolutely amazingly silent purring motor. Okay, super liberal. Thank you. Thank you. I, I'm, I'm so proud to be driving a Rolls Royce that is so amazingly quiet and wonderful. So who is your super liberal? Do you have one? Because I'll tell you, everybody needs one. No, really, you have to have one. I don't care if you like them or not. You need one. And he needs to sit right there on your shoulder. So whenever you get out of line and think that you're about to tell the truth, you will be corrected. You will be chastised. And you will be ridiculed and brought down to your knees until you capitulate and tell your super liberal that they're right. That everything they said is, is the only thing that matters. And there is no way you will ever even think of opposing your super liberal's views again. Now, let me please qualify this, because I'm sure some of you are going, Oh my God, is this guy, he's turned into a right winger. He must be from Texas. No, I was born in Montreal, probably one of the most liberal cities this country ever had. Had past tense. We know what it's been like in the last few years and the changes that have been brewing there. But anyways, I was a liberal leaning individual for most of my life. Most, not all. I've looked at NDP. I've looked at Green Party. Some conservative politicians. Some of what they say and stand for. Yes, I agree with. But I don't think I've ever been considered a conservative. However, right now, compared to the, the liberals out there, holy, I must be like a communist. These people are becoming so draconian, so dictatorial, that I cannot see any other outcome other than me being the absolute communist and them being the new standard of liberal. Liberals never said, we have to tell you how to live and what to do. That was the conservative's job. The liberals never said, you will or I will ruin and crush you. No, 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 no. That was the conservatives' job. Even the conservatives did it a little more quietly. I don't know what to call the liberal party now. This is about my super liberal right here. That's not really a political party or anything. This is a super liberal. We call it a super liberal. Now, you may connect it to whoever you wish. All you need to do is identify my super liberal with those that you see acting in the real world that seem to wear the shoes that I'm talking about. So folks, please remember, get your own super liberal and do it now. No, that's not a request. That is a demand, a command. It is an order. Go out, find your super liberal and carry that super liberal on your right shoulder at all times everywhere you go don't ever let that super liberal fall off and do whatever it says now what i'd like to ask you guys to do is is quite simple because you are beautiful thinking people i want you to remember that we never give up and we never give in but of course we keep an open mind because that's the only way we gather knowledge and knowledge, of course, is our power. So make sure you follow that to the best of your ability. And I want you to stay safe. I want you to stay healthy. And above all, I want you to stay as happy as humanly possible.